Here are our two patterns. Let's see if we can solve them. 8 times 4, that's from your table of 4, actually. All of these here are from the table of 4. 10 times 4, that's easy. 8 times 4, you remember that? And 12 times 4 is 48. Now, look at those answers. Look at these two. Here's 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. These ones are going by twos, right? In essence, we're skipping every other one because between 8 times 4 and 10 times 4, there would be 9 times 4. And here would be 11 times 4, but we're skipping that. So over here, instead of going by 4s, we're going by 8s, right? 8 more, 8 more. So that's the pattern. 8 more would be 56. And 8 more would be 64. And then 72. And then 80. Now how about here? This looks more difficult, right? 8 times 8. 10 times 8. Well, 10 times 8, you know. But now we can compare all these times 8 with these times 4. You remember, I've told you before, anything times 8, you can take the same one times 4 and double it. Just like 40 and 80, okay? So 8 times 4, 32. 8 times 8 will be double this number. It will be 64. And 12 times 8 will be 12 times 4 and double that. 48 and double that. Well, take 40 and double that. It's 80. 8 plus 8 is 16. So 80 plus 16. 96. Okay, how about this one? Double that one. 56. Double 50. Double 6. And add those. 112. 64. Okay, double 60 double 4. You will get 128. And then 72. Double 70 is 140. And then 4. And then double this one. 160. Now over here, again, since we are skipping 9 times 8, 11 times 8, we are not going by 8s, but by 16s. Yes. All right, Mathy. Here's a puzzle for you now. Want to fill it in? Sure, sure enough, he's excited. Getting to do a puzzle. Why don't you pause the video and try to solve it before Matthew does? What times what is 56 and what times what is 14 and so on? Matthew decides what, what are you writing here. Aha, 7 times 8 is 56. Do you remember the rhyme? 5, 6, 7, 8, 56 is 7 times 8. Now it should be easy to solve. Yep, 2 goes there. 9 goes there. That was easy. But there's another solution. And I want to show you that one over there. So what times what makes 56? We already used 7 times 8 in this first one. But in our lesson, we have seen another number times something makes 56. It was up here, over here. 14 times 4 makes 56. So I'm going to use that in my puzzle. Put 14 here because there's 14 there too. 14 times 4 makes 56. Now it's pretty easy. 14 times 1, of course, makes 14. 1 times what makes 18? Should be 18, right? And then we have 4 times 18 makes 72. To check that, you can think this way. Since it is the table of 4, something times 4, you can double twice. So take 18, double it, 36. Double it again, 72. Okay, so we're all done with this lesson.